In this video, we're going to look real quick at using BFD3 on a touch interface like our Surface Pro 3 here and specifically using the pin. All right, so we already have BFD3 pulled up here. In a previous video, we installed the content. We installed the small size. What can we do? Well, we can really do everything on our Surface that we can do on, you know, I can do on my desktop computer. So I'm gonna just use the finger here. I wanna load this preset. Now I can double tap to load it, or we, of course we can grab it and we can just drag it in here and hit okay. That will load up our uh, technical metal kit. So you see it's loading up there. You can use our pin, tap right on the interface, turn up the volume a bit. Okay, so. But the real cool thing about BFD3 that I've you know talked about before in previous videos is they include a groove editor. So we can actually draw in our grooves right within this interface. No need to open a DAW like Pro Tools or Bitwig or FL Studio or any sort of MIDI host. We can program drums right within BFD3. We can save that. And uh, whenever I get back, you know, say, I, say I'm out somewhere, I want to program some drums. I can do that right here on my Surface Pro 3 with BFD3. And whenever I get back to my workstation, I can just save my palettes, put them on a thumb drive or something, maybe upload them to OneDrive, and then put that on my main system. And there we go, I have my grooves already laid out. No, I wouldn't be doing too much mixing, actually, you know, on these uh, speakers here. We just have two little speakers. Maybe you'd be, be okay doing some mixing with headphones. That might be okay. But uh, like I said, we can do absolutely everything we could do on a desktop computer, and it works very well with the pin. You know, this interface here wasn't really made for touch, so just using a finger might be tricky. We're getting that to move there. Kind of have to click on it first. Seems to work a little better. There we go, just grabbed it. Okay, but for doing you know, things with these little smaller knobs, it's much easier to actually use the pin. It actually works pretty well. So let's play here. So like I said, I wouldn't be doing, you know, actual mixing using just these two little speakers here. But you can if you want, if you know exactly in what frequency range you want. Groove editor. Of course, we have all of our palettes over here. Switch over to play palettes. So you could use BFD3 on the go on your Surface Pro 3 and program a bunch of palettes and save them to a drum track, you know, and you could have a whole drum track set up ready to go, you know, while you're on the go. You don't have to be tied down to a computer. But uh, what I really wanted to show you was using our uh, groove editor here with specifically with the pin to show you how easy this actually is i'll zoom in a little more okay so make sure we have this set to loop at the end okay so we'll just hit play here and we'll start building up a groove so now as you can see it's playing through we'll just grab the pencil with our pin here and uh, let's put a kick here kick here you know one thing you can do you can actually click and hold and go up and down and that changes your velocity. Okay, you can also move it. Let's say you wanna change the velocity, really easy to put in your kick and change the velocity right when you're putting it in. All right, now the pin here, you hold down this button here, your second button, that's actually right click. So hold down right click and just tap a note and delete it. Okay, we can also delete a bunch of notes by holding down that that a right click button here. See, hold it down, got rid of all of those real quick. Let's put in our kick again, kick here, kick here. Now we'll put in the snare. Oh, that was a hi-hat, just delete that. And and just keep drawing it in our groove.
There we go. That's pretty good. Now, I'll hit stop just so you can hear me. We, can, we have this paintbrush tool that can paint rudiments right here in BFD3, so it's really cool. So I'll come to my hi-hat and then we'll just play back. Let me expand out the hi-hat there. And I want to uh, say close tip. So I'll just press and hold and drag. So now we have our hi-hats. Real easy. What about a symbol? Put a symbol hit here. Not that one. Erase that one. And crash. Okay, so hopefully that just gives you kind of an idea of how easy it is to actually program drums right here in BFD3 using just your pin on your surface. So say you have that, then you go down to another groove, say new groove, and start programming your second groove. You can always save that out and move it to your main computer, and you can actually finish the mixing because like I said, it might be kind of hard to actually go to your effects and start throwing in effects here, you know, and really adjusting them too much, you know, on these little tiny speakers. But you can if you want, you can at least set up your chain, you know. You can have everything set up here. You can throw in your, some auxes and whatever you want there, side chains, adjust basic levels. Probably do that with your finger all right but it works a lot better with the pin. Let me talk a little bit more about the rudiments that we mentioned. So here's our rudiments. We can grab our brush, and as I've already shown, you know, we can draw those in. That's kind of basic. You can come over right here to your rudiments, and you can actually change these to you know anything in this list, which makes it really easy to draw in your, uh, you know, your grooves. Okay, so that's just one more thing I wanted to mention about using BFD3 on a surface. Now, I mean, this is a this is not just, you know, of course, exclusive to the, to the surface, of course. This is within BFD3. I just wanted to mention that one of the really cool things is you have that rudiments and your little paint tool there, which uh, gives you another way, an easy way to program grooves in BFD3. And it works great with the pen. So be sure to check that feature out as well, the rudiments. And of course, we don't have to actually program all of the drums ourselves. You know, if we already have grooves over here in, in the grooves list, you know, right here, grooves, that we want, and we're just, you know, trying to pound out ideas. We can always, you know, just grab those grooves, throw them over here in our palette. We can build up exactly what we want our track to sound like. And then, of course, we can always throw that in the drum track if we want as well. You know, and just make our drum track. And then later on, whenever we get back to our main system, we'll have everything laid out exactly how we want it. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's BFD3 being used here on the Surface Pro 3, specifically with the pin. The pin really makes it much easier to actually get work done, especially right here in the Groove Editor. And again, the great thing about BFD3 is the Groove Editor is included in BFD3. No need to load this up as a plugin within some sort of a MIDI host. You can just start programming your drums in, no matter where you're at, just using your pen, your Surface Pro 3, right here in BFD3. Pretty cool stuff.